Yes, well, he is rather repetitive. I tell you, I like the music. I like the beat. So today, we are going to show you a collection of music videos all by the same hip-hop artist. Oh, okay. In the past, we've shown hip-hop artists to the elders, and it's been difficult for them to understand the words since the artists speak so quickly. Well, yeah, but they go so fast. So for these videos, we've included subtitles to help you better understand the lyrics. Ah! Oh. I watch everything with closed captions because it's just easier. Ready. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Okay. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Oh, love his hair. I like his hair. My bitch love do cocaine. Oh, I like how colorful it is. I can't buy me no wetter rain. Rather go and buy ball man. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Still slanging dope in the jets. I like the beat. I really like the beat. Be new to me. No. Nope. With my teacher called Tutori. Yeah. Bought some red bars called Hella G's. Huh? Your airline, your company. I bet he's controversial. Lil Pump still stuck that meth. Yeah. Really promoting the drugs there. Hey. Hey. Little bitch make a wet. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Spread their rhymes. Oh God. My bitch love do cocaine. Cocaine. At least it rhymes. It's a good thing there's uh, closed captions, because there's no way you would be understanding it otherwise. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I really like the beat. I like the rhythm. That's one of those that I don't care for. Is this little pump? I just read about this kid who spent 15 hours saying Gucci gang. Yeah, not really my thing. I don't know how we're going to adjust to this gutter verbiage. This is like disrespectful to women. I fuck a bitch on. Huh? Please, you'd be lucky if you could get one. Burn! Yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah, bitch, I play red raw. Yeah, yeah. bitch, I play red raw. The background, the locations, well done. Yeah, I came in with Well done. Bitch, I fled red raw. But the vocabulary. I just broke my wrist. Hundred on my wrist, can't tell me shit. Pop out, dance, and I fuck a nigga, bitch. Never went to school because I was always playing bricks. Because the young people have a different language now. Yeah, so crack in the hole. You know, I'd have thought this would have played out by now. Damn, gave my mom two glocks. Damn, everybody do want to be me. Looking at my neck and it's Fiji. Everybody do want to be me. Looking at my neck and it's Fiji. Ooh. Oh, that was tough. Some of the lyrics are quite, uh, you know, out there. There's no substance to the words. I guess I'm bothered by it because it seems to condone really dangerous behaviors. Hey, moving in, brace at a bell like ooh. Moving in, brace at a bell like ooh. Diamond on my wrist ain't look like ooh. Okay, what's the story behind this? Everything, everything seems real uh, colorful. Somebody really needs to come up with a rap that's different, a little more original. Yeah, we kind of get the impression you don't care about a lot. I love the graphics. I love it. It's all materialistic. I, I tell you, I like the music. I like the beat. You could easily dance to it, but oh, some of the words. I don't know what he's talking about, but sure, it's got a beat to it. That's a little better. That wasn't quite as bad. It sucks. See, we got words that should never be uttered. <laughs> What? Same thing, same thing. You need a dictionary just to know what a hundred is, what an eighty is. Yes, well, he is rather repetitive. Video is pretty good. The graphics. And my auntie on PO. But I love, I love the music, the beat. To the motel six. I just broke my wrist cause I'm whipping in the kitchen. You pass the bridge to my mom and I told her whip it. Well, four bands in the kitchen. Eight, nine bands in the kitchen. Okay, what does this all mean? Close captioning isn't enough. I need a translation. I don't like it. Empty and meaningless. Come up with something a little more original. The message or sending the message, it's just beyond me. But I do like the filming, the graphics, uh, what they're doing with that. I 
Get off that kitchen counter, boy. Oh, there's a video game. Okay. Oh, I remember that game. I like that game. Try some of this here that I'm smoking. And man, you're going to be on top. Oh, great. Now guns. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is... This is really appealing. I know that it isn't written or created for me. <laughs> Actually, the videos weren't bad. It stinks. I don't like it. I don't understand it. Lyrics aren't much. Money, drugs, crime, sex. The young kid's gonna see this, and what kind of world are we gonna have five, ten years from now? don't like it. If this is what you're attracted to, something that's empty and meaningless, then it's time for, uh, for you to look inside. Even though I disagree with a, a lot of the verbiage that's in these songs, I really like the beat. So that was the hip-hop artist Lil Pump. Lil Pump, okay. How did Lil Pump compare to other hip-hop artists you've heard in your life or seen on the show? I'll give him a D. Young people are gonna gravitate to his crap. It's well produced. That is pretty evident. I feel like Kendrick Lamar is sending a, a, a deeper message. I love lyrics by Kendrick Lamar. He stands for something. Little pump. Nah. Some of those words, uh, they were kind of difficult to listen to. Now, I, and I realize that there's some people talk like that, but it, it's... Uh, People need to be careful of the words that they use. The Lil Pump has been releasing music independently since 2016 on his SoundCloud page. He garnered over 100 million streams on that site uh, and uh, tons of following on social media before he finally just recently signed with the label. Kids nowadays will like anything. He's putting out empty and meaningless stuff and it's going into empty and meaningless listeners. The guy knows what he's doing, knows what he's saying, and he is a star, no matter whether I like it or not. When you were growing up, if an artist debuted themselves without a record label similar to Lil Pump, would they be able to find mainstream success? Um, no, because what went on back then was there was a lot of payola to radio stations. They went around and they paid radio stations to play people's music. You needed to sign, yeah, yeah, if you didn't have a label. No, because there used to be a lot more restrictions on music. Probably not. Where were you going to be heard? Well, you could be heard live, but by an audience of 100 or 1,000 or, or 10. So Lil Pump is just 17 years old. Oh, he looks like a young guy. Maybe he'll get older and wiser. He has a huge presence on social media with over 700,000 followers on Twitter and over 8 million on Instagram. And as you may have heard, he talks about drugs and substance abuse a lot in his lyrics, and in a recent tweet, he wrote about his love and promotion for Xanax. Yeah, he looked high in the video. So what do you think about the fact that he's only 17 years old and is openly speaking about drugs in this way? Oh, that's scary. It's a social problem, and this kind of aggravates it. I don't think it's a good sign for the future. We need to start encouraging kids to use their minds in constructive ways. I think he had a really rough childhood. This is that one line he's been doing. I've, I've been alone since third grade, so obviously he has not had a lot of love and attention. I think it's absolutely wrong, uh, but I'm echoing what people 50, 60 years ago said about the music that I put out might be more destructive today, but that's just a sign of the times. So finally, one of Lil Pump's most popular songs is one of the ones we showed you, Gucci Gang. Yeah. It's a reference to his career of other rappers, and now many of his fans are considering themselves part of the gang as well. So after hearing all of his music, do you think that you'll become a part of the Gucci Gang? No, no. But I, I can't get away from the beat. I really like the beat. No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Why would I? No, I think it's trash. Me? <laughs> uh, no, I can't join the Gucci gang because I told you. But I give him a D. No, it ain't gonna stick with me. I'll never be part of that gang. They don't give a rat shit about me or who I am or what I think. Thanks for watching Elders React. Shout out to the Pineapple 
who watched last week. Subscribe if you'd like a shout out like Kat. Say hi in the comments if you'd like a shout out like Alice Duncan. Hey guys, we're T here from FBE. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Do you have a favorite artist you want us to react to? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys.